Hey everyone, welcome back to Anchor Lanes in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, home to Firehouse Pro Shop. And today we're going to be going over a ball. We're going to be going a ball review. It's going to be on the new-ish High Road Max from Storm. Uh, we're going to compare it up to that Venom Shock that I think all of you know that I, I love so much. Um, so we're going to go over that, uh, that High Road Max. There is one thing I do not like about it. I'll tell you that right now. Um, we can kind of go over that uh, once I'm done throwing the ball, but stay tuned. You guys are going to see these two balls go down the lane. First and foremost, I want to shout out Logo Infusion. The Logo Infusion team is awesome. Uh, head on over to logoinfusion.com or iambowling.com. You can use my promo code down here. It's going to be firehouse07. It'll save you 20 to 0% off um, your total order. So head on over there. Uh, pick you up something nice. I love, I love the shirts. They're fantastic. Um, also, um, if you guys could feel free to subscribe, please. I don't want to make it sound like I'm begging, but, um, you know, if you, if you could, uh, I, I see a lot of you that watch these videos are not subscribed. So if you could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down there. It's totally free. Um, also feel free to like the, uh, like the video as well. So without further ado, I'm going to take this high road max out on the lane. You guys stay tuned. Uh, and then you're just gonna let go. So what you want to do is you want to make the fan side down here. Bear drill that I do, I do it for myself and I do it for the high school kids that I coach. So you see the layout here. Now I, d I did this layout because I wanted it to kind of replace a Brunswick Fearless that I have and this Fearless is kind of drilled up this way too. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the reason why I did it. It's 70 by um, 4.5 by 35 and now we will take it out on the lanes. Now we're hitting the lanes, um, starting in my normal spot of 25. Throwing, I was pulling it a little bit, so I was throwing at 17 here now. Um, in this normal zone here, I it, the ball was really, really starting to labor. Um, so I got my speed just a little softer with where I was throwing. Uh, ball still didn't really want to turn the corner, as you saw there. In this Venom Shock, I mean, the Venom Shock does well. I pulled it just a little bit, uh, left a 10 pin with it, but it was still you know, a fairly decent line. Moving in, once I moved in here to about 30, uh, I changed my hand position, and I'll talk about it a little later, I changed my hand position to um, kind of spin the ball a little bit more, try and get more on the ball, uh, slowed the speed down a little bit, and the ball really looked good inside, but that's after I made my hand position, because my normal hand position, I was not obviously going to um, going to make the ball turn the corner, and obviously you see here that this bounce shock still has no problem turning the corner, so um, I think you can see the differences at least uh, inside between these two balls. Uh, again, I really had to slow my speed down here, but um, with all the adjustments I made, the, the high road max still looked pretty good inside here. Um, you know, it was still fairly difficult standing on 35 to try to get the ball to turn the corner. You know, I even told myself I wasn't going to be able to get the ball to strike from there. But once you make the adjustments, the ball does look fairly good. Uh, here's that Venom Shock. It still doesn't really have any problem, even though I left it. A great a pin there uh, it still doesn't really have a problem you know kind of turning the corner uh, the high road max uh, I'm using my normal hand position here and it looks pretty good from outside it really does so um, yeah I had no problem getting the ball to strike from from out here um, throwing some some great shots having some good pin carry now you'll be able to really see the difference here between the the shock and you know, obviously you can see there that shock kind of starts up a little earlier and it turns left. Um, here I untucked my pinky and got a little bit more rolly uh, with this hand position here and the high road max uh, again looks great uh, from outside and kind of in this track area and um, yeah I mean with all the adjustments that I made the high road max really doesn't look like that bad of a ball but I think the venom shock uh, is just a little better. All right, guys, so you saw the two balls go down the lane. Uh, let's talk about it. So first of all, one second, sorry. 
Um, first of all, I want to talk about what I don't like with this High Road Max. The one thing that I do not like about the High Road Max, and I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's something with the core, I don't know if it's something with the environment that we're in, whether there's too much humidity that affects the core, whether there's too much heat that affects the core, because I know if cores like to expand and contract. Um, that's how bowling balls crack. But I don't think cores should expand to the facts where I can't put, this is as far as it goes, where I cannot put my IT into the bowling ball. And like I said, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just this environment. I don't know, I don't know what it is. If you've had problems with this before, with the high road max, if you haven't high road max and you're having problems with this, or any, any other ball, honestly, that you have that you have problems with this, let me know, please. Because I would, I am genuinely curious. I would very much like to know if anybody else has problems with their switch grip or their IT fitting into the ball because the core is expanding too much. Now that I got my venting out of the way, <laughs> we can go into um, the scores. And um, I, I, well, let's just get into it. So um, appearance, which is obviously the most subjective, I gave both of them a nine. Uh, they're both two tones. Um, they look fine. They look great, actually. I mean, some might say the High Road Max looks ugly. That's fine. That's their opinion. I like it. Um, if there was a category for scent, though, the High Road Max would get a negative two. I absolutely do not <laughs> like the um, like the sour apple smell. It smells absolutely awful. It makes me want to vomit. I hope they never bring this scent back because it is awful. <laughs> now that we got, okay, venting part two. Now that we got all the venting out of the way, um, we can we can move on. Uh, ball motion, I gave the High Road an 8. I gave the Venom Shock a 10. I think the ball motion from the Venom Shock is as good from any single from any ball out there that you are going to see, period. I love the ball motion of the Venom Shock. Pretty much all of the Venoms have had extremely, extremely good ball motion. Um, and I think the Venom is a true benchmark ball. Uh, continuation, I gave the High Road an 8. I gave the Venom a nine and a half. Um, and continuation kind of piggybacks off of ball motion. Um, the better the ball motion is, I think, the more continuation and the better continuation you're going to get. Uh, I gave both of them an eight because the high road is just a little bit flat on the back end. Now this got better. Ball motion and continuation both got better when I started getting around the ball a little bit more. Kind of started spinning it in a little bit. Now when I say spin it, I don't mean spinning it like a top. I mean like... I tried to get as much as I could with my fingers um, in the ball. I actually changed my um, changed my hand position before I um, before I threw the ball. Uh, I kind of contorted it and got it a little on the on the side of the ball rather than kind of up the back like this. Um, so, anyways, if you spin the ball, I think the ball motion is going to be better. Um, if you're kind of in the middle, average, it might not be the best. Uh, Venom, I gave a nine and a half, like I said. Pin carry, I gave the um, high road an eight. I gave um, the Venom a nine. Uh, pin carry with the Venom is, has always been good. It's always going to be good with a benchmark ball. Uh, pin carry kind of connected with the continuation. I, left a, I, I leave a lot of 10 pins with the, with the high road. It might be drilling. That's fair. That's a fair argument if you want to argue that. Um, but that's just kind of what I see. It's just a little lazy down lane, and you're going to leave a lot of stuff when, when stuff is lazy down lane. Now, that being said, I think versatility with the High Road Max is fantastic. I really do. Uh, versatility with the Venom is great. I think the Venom you can do a lot more stuff with without changing your hand position in the ball. Uh, High Road Max seems like you can do anything with it um, if you have the ability to change your hand position. I've just been kind of learning how to change my hand position a little bit better than what I, what I could do. Um, it used to be the extent of learning how to change my hand position was tucking and untucking my pinky. Um, but I've really started to learn how to actually get more out of the ball. Um, I did that with the High Road Max, and I think you saw once I got, when I started at 25, um, the ball looked flat. It wasn't doing anything, and I think you guys could see that uh, when I was throwing shots. 
Uh, once I got to 30, I really started to kind of uh, quote unquote contort my hand a little better, um, which kind of got the ball to turn the corner a little better. Um, so, I th like I said, I think as long as you're able to kind of really work with your hand positions, the versatility is there. Uh, Venom, um, like I said, I, I can do a lot with the Venom without really having to change my hand position, which is great. Um, so, total points, I gave the High Road Max a 42. I should deduct two points for um, the IT, but I'm not going to. Um, you know, obviously there's going to be people that just put regular thumb sleeves in there. That's fine. I have no problem with that. There's going to be people that put ITs in their bowling balls. And it just kind of frustrates me if, and like I said, I don't know if this is a storm issue. I don't know if this is an environment issue. Uh, obviously it is getting warmer. It's becoming summer outside. But the part that frustrates me is what if I go to a tournament, I need this ball, and I can't have it because I can't put my thumb grip in. And um, that's the part that's a little frustrating. Um, so I, anyways, I should deduct two points, but I'm not going to. It, I gave the high road a total of 42. Uh, the Venom I gave a 46 and a half. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Storm. I've grown up throwing Storm. Storm seems to be really the only company that I match up with. So in no way am I ripping Storm for just, you know, what's, what's happening that I'm not able to get my thumb in. And people are going to say, well, why don't you just bevel it out or, you know, put a bevel sander in there. I've done it twice still doesn't it doesn't work it's next time I use it it's still as tight as what it is right now so I don't know what the issue is if you have any insight um, like I said make sure you drop a comment down below because I would really like to know what's going on with this um, anyways now that I'm I, I know I said I was done ranting before but now I'm actually done ranting uh, we'll kind of get into who this ball would be great for and um, I think it would be great for people who you know, two-handers, I think this ball would be great. I bowled next to a, a, a kid uh, during my regional this weekend, and he used the high-road max the entire qualifying block, which was seven games, and he bowled absolutely fantastic with it. So I think uh, people, higher-rev players, uh, are going to love the high-road max. And I think that you guys saw, once I got straighter, the high-road max looked great as well. So um, I think if you're playing straighter, High Road Max is a good option. I think if you're um, if you have a little bit more hand and play inside a little bit more, High Road Max is also a good option. If you have a lot of hand, the High Road Max is a good option. I'm not saying the High Road Max is a bad ball by any means. I don't exactly match up to it as well as I would kind of hope, but that's okay. Um, for your typical league bowler, I would say there's better balls out there. Um, and that one of them is definitely the, the Venom Shock. So um, that's all I'm going to get into. Um, that pretty much kind of concludes the video. Um, like I said before, make sure you like, subscribe. Um, the more likes and subscriptions that I get, the more videos that I'm, I'm going to do because I see people enjoy them and they love them. Um, I had someone comment the other day that he was deciding between two of the balls um, that I did a review on, and hopefully that helped them make a, make a decision, which is great because that's the reason I'm doing these. I'm doing this, I'm being completely honest with you guys for what I see. Uh, like I said, I love Storm. I love almost every single ball they put out. The high road might not match up with, with me, and that's, that's okay. I'm not going to match up with every single ball that comes out of Utah. Um, and I haven't matched up with every single motive I've drilled up either. So um, the Venom Shock is a great ball. It's a benchmark ball. I think if you don't have one, you should probably get one. High Road Max might be great for tournaments. I bowled on a tournament a couple weeks ago. Um, it was a 37 or 36 foot pattern. I wish I brought along the High Road Max because I think I would have had a really good look. So um, I might mess with the surface a little bit on the High Road Max. I might uh, bring it down a little bit more, try and get it to read a little earlier. Again, might have something with the drilling, so I think if I mess with the surface, the High Road Max might be better, but this is still box surface. It's kind of lane shined a little bit, which might have a little more something to do with it, but um, that's the High Road Max review. It was compared up against the Venom Shock. My honest opinion, I like the Venom Shock better. So um, that being said, that concludes today's video. Again, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to do a video 
hopefully within the next week or two, um, I did my first PBA regional. I'll kind of give you my takeaways from that regional. I'll do a video on that, what I was impressed with, um, and that sort of thing. So um, I'll kind of break down the weekend, and we can kind of talk about that. So that being said, I know I've done an outro about three times here, but I promise this is the last one. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.